Welcome back to Let's Play Kirby and the Amazing Mirror Blinds. In the last episode, we fought yet another boss, which was Gobbler, the shark in all of ocean. And we revealed another piece of the mirror from that. So now let's see how many more bosses we can find. What will become of Kirby next? Find out in just a little bit. Okay, so we are in the very top area of Rainbow Route. And I want to see what this Area 4 is, because apparently there's an entrance to Area 4 from here. So let's see what the heck this Area 4 entrance is. Apparently it's up here somewhere. I guess. That's what it... The map says it's up, so I'm guessing it's up somewhere? Uh... Yeah, I'll get the burning about it. Why not? Hmm. What's... Oh my gosh, we have a new door! I guess it's, I guess these doors with the stars on top means they're a warp to another world. But oh, we're in Mustard Mountain. Wow. I guess I guess all the areas in this game are just named after food. And I also noticed that the first letter of each of I noticed that there are a lot of alliterations in this and the and the area names as well. For example, Rainbow Route. Both of those words start with an R. What? We can't destroy those bomb blocks by headbutting them like we can in Kirby Superstar. Well, that sucks. But yeah, Rainbow Route, Olive Ocean, Cabbage Cavern, Moonlight Mansion, and <laughs> now Mustard Mountain, Candy Constellation, that too. Ah, we just died by running into a into a foley. Okay, fine. I don't want the cutter ability. The cutter ability sucks. I don't want to find out what's over there right now anyway. Ah! And I just destroyed that sword knight. I wanted to copy its ability. Oh well, I guess I can't get sword every time. Oh, look at this. Listen to this music. This is pretty neat music. Okay, I don't feel like copying the cook ability again. So this is Mustard Mountain, apparently. Hmm. Interesting. Apparently there's lava in this area, so we have to be careful. And uh, okay, there's a Waddle Dee, and I bumped into a Waddle Dee like an idiot. Ah, I bump into Waddle Dee so often, it's not even funny. What's- Ooh! Here's another familiar mini-boss, Fan Fan. This one appeared in Nightmare and Dreamland as well. It looks pretty much the same but that it was in Nightmare in Dreamland. It will occasionally throw apples at us. Apples are Fan Fan's favorite food. Yeah, but we can use them to... But we can spit them back down to Fan Fan, and that's how we defeat it. And sometimes it'll grab hold of us with its trunk and throw us, and... Ah, I totally failed at inhaling that apple. Eh, well. Fan Fan's gotta have some bad apples, I guess. Why not? Ah! I wanted that apple! I want the apple! Apples are some of my favorite fruit, too! Okay, apparently after it does two moves like that, it'll... Okay, but this thing has a really cool ability, which is throw. And this is kind of an update of, of Kirby's actual in inhalation ability, because it actually throw objects further, and apparently can inhale enemies faster, like that big Waddle Dee. Because usually that takes a long time to inhale, but we can just inhale it in a snap with a throw ability. Let's throw a chip. Let's throw another chip. Let's throw yet another chip. Can we throw the chip? Okay, I don't feel like throwing a chip. Let's throw a Haley. Okay, we can't throw a golem, I think, because they're too heavy. Let's throw a chip. Okay. <laughs> Chips are so fun to throw. Well, I can't throw that one because I just defeated it with an air pellet. Ah! And I lost my throw ability! Give it back! Okay, fine. Oh well. I don't think a throw ability will be too useful in this room anyway, especially with all the spikes around. Does a hail of this ability? I guess not. Apparently, I thought those would give you with the needle ability, but I guess not. And I think those enemies are actually supposed to be named after Haley's Comet, because they kind of look like a comet. And look, we got the mini ability, and we can fit into that tight space over there. What, we can't fly when we have the mini ability? Okay, fine. I'll just get rid of it then. It's not really that useful, except for going into those tight spaces, I guess. And, okay, we got a laser... Ah! A laser ball that killed us. That's what That's what we have. Let's try inhaling it and the Sir Kibble at the same time. And, okay, we got the Tornado ability, not my favorite ability. I think I'm just gonna drop it and try to get that Cupid ability instead. That's probably what I'm gonna do. Uh, yay! Kirby is an angel. He can shoot arrows at things. Graceful arrows. The arrows of love. And apparently the arrows are not very powerful because it didn't kill the Sir Kibble, and instead Sir Kibble and owned us. Ah, that is not fair. 
Shooty apparently doesn't give him give an ability, and that's why we didn't get the cha puppy Chaz wheel. I totally thought the Shooties give us the missile ability, but apparently that's not true. Ah well, not that I really care. Uh, okay, now we have an area with wind. I guess that makes sense. There's, it makes sense that there's wind on a mountain, right? Eh, I guess. Da, 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 da. Wrong block. Ooh, a treasure. A treasure! Yay, treasure! What is it? What is it? What is that? Is that a strange pink thing? Uh, okay. That's weird. I don't know what the strange pink thing is. Uh, well, Krabby is pink, so... Ooh, what is this? A bomb bar? What? Uh, uh, it, uh, 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 apparently named so because it... Because it bombards us with stuff? Like that, uh, missile thing it dropped? I guess? I don't really get this block. It looks like an airplane, kind of. Looks like an airplane. Oh no! Homing missiles! That's not good! Yeah. Kinda figured that would happen. Okay, let's try this again. Ah! Bronto Bart. Stupid Bronto Bart. I hate Bronto Barts. Ah. I don't know. Should I copy that sword ability? If I don't bump into it, yeah, maybe I will. Why not? Maybe that bomb bar will be easier to defeat with a sword. I'm not quite sure. I've never seen that mini-boss before, so I can't really tell. Alright! Using a sword to fight an airplane, is that epic or what? Ah! Great. If it's just gonna charge with us that way, then I don't know if... I wish I had an ability with, like, a long range, maybe. But apparently that's not gonna help! Whatever, I'll just defeat it by swallowing the missiles it throws and... Maybe that'll help. That's an interesting looking enemy, actually. It looks like an airplane with feet. That, that's kind of neat, actually. It kind of reminds me of Capsule J from Kirby Superstar. Gee, maybe that means it'll give us the jet ability. Although I don't think the jet ability even appears in this game. I think it'll give us missile or something, ju judging by the fact that it's firing all these missiles. Well, are you gonna fire any more missiles so that I can inhale them? Okay, there are those homing missiles. Maybe you could swallow those. Ah! And I totally failed to hit Bombar with that. Let's see if I can hail these things. Okay, good, I can. Yay! What ability does it give us? Missile, of course. Well, that makes sense. Ah, okay. I wonder if we can use Missile to get that one up the tomato over there, but we have a goal, so that's nice. I like goals. Woohoo! Yay, it's a goal. Let's see if we can get some more one ups here. That'll be kind of nice. Okay. Yay, one up. Oh my gosh, these one-ups are just coming to us. We're not even doing anything. Look, we got another one! We're getting really lucky with getting one-ups. We got three of those! That's cool. <laughs> We're just attracting one-ups here. Well, I wonder what else we could do here. Maybe I'll try to explore Mustard Mountain a bit more, but that's the only thing I can think of, I guess. So I'll see you later. Okay, let's explore more of Mustard Mountain. Let's see what's off to this right entrance here. I don't think I've been that way yet. So let's see what's in here. We have a chip and a Sir Kibble and I flamed right into a chip. That is so not cool. Ah! Avoid the cutter. Okay, what does this switch do? Uh, okay, it's just going to close off immediately after I step away from it? Uh, fine, I'll pick up the sword ability and see what happens. Ah! S sword Knight. Uh, what am I gonna do about that switch? Uh, can I cut it with my sword? I guess my sword's not long enough. Kirby's arms are too short. That's something that Meta Knight complained about in, in one episode of the anime, is that... Is that there was... I think it was episode 3 where, where Meta Knight and, has a duel with Kirby, and one of the things that he says to him is that, his arm, is that Kirby's arms are too short, so therefore he has the disadvantage in the sword fight. I don't know. I know, I know having short arms is a disadvantage in some styles of sword fighting, some more so than others, but I don't know. I was just trying to get the switch. Ah! Is there anything I can do to make that switch stay, stay stepped on? Apparently sword is not going to do anything, and a, and a sword knight over there keeps owning me. How in the world am I going to get over there? Uh... Maybe if I just sit on this switch long enough that it'll get stuck, and... Okay, never mind. Ah! I fell right on top of the sword my time. 
Hey, I have an idea. Let's call the other Kirby's and see if I can get them to get the switch for me. Come on, Kirby's. Up here. Up here. Over here. Hey, Kirby's. This way. Hey, 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 hey. Don't, don't leave me behind. What, what, what? Those Kirby's totally abandoned me. Ah, I don't trust these guys anymore. Really. Well, that's just great. The Kirby's went on, but now I can't go on. Uh, <laughs> I can't believe this. Hey, wait a minute. They destroyed that bomb block over there. I wonder if I can... Hmm. Is there anything over there? Well, let's see. Oh, it's a big treasure chest. Let's see what's inside it. Oh, actually, when I was looking back on these Let's Play videos, I think I actually figured out what those paper things are. I think those are maps. I'm pretty sure those are area maps. So, remember how in places like Cabbage Cavern and originally when we went into Mustard Mansion on that left door that... that we had a map, but it wasn't very useful? Apparently, this... Apparently, when we get that paper thing, that... that area map from the treasure chest, then it'll actually give us a map that we can see better and that we can navigate better. So that's pretty nice. So as long as I don't keep bumping into flavors, then we can actually continue off to the left where we were earlier and then hopefully do things right this time. Okay, let's go back. Okay. Ah! If I will quit bumping into enemies... Okay. Let's see. Go through these blocks. Uh... How do I destroy those blocks up there? Uh, okay, screw this. I'm going up here. I'm going the normal way up. Get this affordability or not. <laughs> okay. I kill those things whenever I want the sword ability, and I get hit by them whenever I don't want to copy them. Ah, that figures. Ah, I got kissed by a leap! The leap gave the kiss of death! <laughs> ah. <laughs> the kiss of death? I think that's an enemy in Earthbound. There's an enemy in Earthbound called the kiss of death. I'm pretty sure. And then there's another stronger version of that enemy called the French Kiss of Death. See? There's the there's the way the map looks now. There's a boss up there, so that'll be interesting. We can see where the boss is, but apparently we cannot access this area from here. But there is a warp to World 9 up there, Candy Constellation. So maybe we can just go up there and see if if there's anything else we can do inside the Candy Constellation once we get there. So I'm gonna try doing that. If we can avoid being kissed by more leaps, that is being landed on by this Waddle Dee. Okay, there we go. Ah, that's one of the stupidest mistakes I ever make in a Kirby game, It's just bumping into a Waddle Dee. And now we have another battle with Fan Fan. Every time we go this way, we have a battle with Fan Fan. This is annoying. This is really annoying. I hate having to bottle a battle a mini-boss over and over again. Eh. Well, it's a good thing Fan Fan isn't the most difficult enemy around. I mean, Box Boxer is tougher, and okay, if it'll fire apples the right way, and if it'll keep, if it'll quit throwing me. Ah! Get away from me! I got a bouncing elephant! Ah, great, and I shouldn't have missed the apple that time. Uh. Ah! Watch out for that trunk! Ah! I got hit by an apple! The apple of death! Like the poisonous apple that, that the queen gave to Snow White? Great, is Fan Fan gonna kill me? Ah, uh, that would be kind of embarrassing. Apple, apple, ah! I landed on an apple again! I swear, if Fan Fan kills me, that'll- Okay, fine, it is gonna kill me. Let's try this again. Inhale the leap. Destroy that leap. That is a weird name for an enemy, leap. Ah! See, I told you what happened eventually. I bumped into a Waddle D. But yeah, I think, I'm pretty sure Leap, the name of that enemy, is supposed to be based off of the German word for love, which is Lieb. It's, if that's with a B instead of a P, but I'm pretty sure that's where the, that enemy's name comes from. Not entirely sure, but I think that's the best explanation. Okay, fan fan. Will you let me defeat you this time? You're really preventing me from going to World Mine, aren't you? Let's get this awesome throw ability. Own these Waddle Dees with it. I'm a big Waddle Dee! It's pretty cool how we can throw that big Waddle Dee to destroy those those metal blocks. That is just awesome. <laughs> da -da. 
throw a chip. Throw a chip. <laughs> I'm just having too much fun throwing these chips. Chips are so fun to throw. And I'll throw a Haley as well. Why not? Throw everything. I don't think I can throw a golem. Oh well. Golems are too big for Kirby to throw. Not even Kirby is that strong. Am I going the right way? Yes, it looks like I just have to go up. I guess that's the quickest way to get there, and I gotta make sure I don't go through the door that leads to the goal, I guess. I go well nigh. Da 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 da, I destroyed a chip with an air pellet. Kirby suffocated the chip. <laughs> and I gotta bother with a mini. I don't think I need to go that way anyway. Da 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 da. Uh, I don't know, do I? I don't think- I don't think that's the door I want to go through. Uh, yeah, that just goes where I was, was it? Ah, darn it, now I can't go back. Now I can't go back. Well, that's just great. Uh, why didn't I pause the video? I think I- Yeah, I'm totally going the wrong way. I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, let's try this again. I think I have to use the mini for this one to get into the room over there. I already went to that other room off screen, but I thought I'd show you how I did it. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna get the mini ability. Go through here. Okay, now I have to temporarily get rid of this mini ability. Ah, this is tricky. I have to, like, shuffle around all these abilities. Uh, wait for the chip to get out of the way, and the Haley to get out of the way. And then I can go over here. And that is how I get to this room, and I don't need that mini ability anymore. And I think the mini ability only works in one area anyway. Once you go through a door, it disappears, I think. Oh, great, we got a heavy knife. I don't like- Oh, darn, a box boxer? I hate box boxer! Uh... Let's see if I can fight it with a sword. I am not too sure about this. Ah! Get away from me! Get away from me! Ah! Give me my sword back! Ah. Uh, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? I'm no good at fighting this thing! I don't want to be fighting a box boxer! Why? Ah! Oh, good. I, <laughs> I just barely mounted- I just barely avoided getting hit that time. <laughs> well, the good thing is if I die, I just go back to the beginning of the room. And then maybe I can fight this thing when I'm at full health, actually. Ah! Okay, maybe not. Let's try this again. I'm gonna defeat a box boxer. Can I defeat it with Cutter, maybe? Let's see if Cutter is a better ability to use against it. Maybe. Maybe. Let's see. Ah, maybe if I do that thing where I throw the Cutter backwards? Ah! Cut it out. Uh, let's see if I can wait for, a, for the right opportunity to do that. Okay, not there. Ah. Okay. Maybe I'll just throw Cutters normally, I guess. Give me my ability back! I don't want to be fighting you without an ability! And if I die this time, then I'll get a game over meeting- Oh, Ooh, good, I did it that time. And that time! Woohoo! I like this. <laughs> this is a pretty good strategy against Box Boxer. And okay, good, he almost hit me. Ah! Wow, that was pretty interesting. The, the Box Boxer grabbed me, and then the cutter hit him, and he let go. <laughs> interesting. Yay, I defeated him! Let's see what ability he gives me. Fighter, of course, that makes sense. Uh, let's see. Okay, this must be the warp star that leads to Candy Constellation! Yay! I don't know why these warp stars always delay before they fly up like that. That is just weird. Uh... Haven't I been in this room before? This looks like a room I've been in before. Uh... Yeah, I was totally in this room before. Well, that was pointless. <laughs> yeah, this is the room with the QB and the Rocky and- I was- I was in here in part 7. At least I think it was part 7. Was it part 7? It was either part 7 or part 8 or uh, something like that. I think it was part 7. But I was here. I don't remember exactly. My- the videos that I recorded and the videos that I actually put together have different numbers. So it's like the recorded- the videos that I'm now ready to right now are part 10, but I imagine when, once I post this video on YouTube, it'll be part 9. Ah! 
Okay, I guess if I die in Candy Constellation, it's not really gonna matter, because I'm just... In fact, maybe I'll just commit suicide or something. Maybe that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, eh, maybe not. I don't really feel like committing suicide. Candy's just a baby. He shouldn't be committing suicide. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess once... I guess in the actual part 10, part 10 of of the videos that I'm posting on YouTube, I think what I'll do is try to find the next boss of... as I'll try to find the boss of Mustard Mountain. I think that's what I'll do, so... Ah, I'll just go back to the mirror, but I'll see you next time on part 10 of Let's Play Kirby and the Amazing Mirror Blind!